A notably red slab of rock with some even more notable features has been the target of intense investigation for the past two weeks. Now Perseverance has dug into it with its abrading tool and opened up a deeper level of intrigue. On this episode of Mars Guy, we last left Perseverance seeing spots in red rocks on the floor of Noretva Vallis that hint at a possible role for iron-reducing bacteria. But the team sent the rover on its way without collecting a sample, so probably a false alarm. It trundled 75 meters to the south, near the bank of the ancient river valley. Here's Mars Guy for scale. Perseverance encountered a motley collection of geologic wonders here. There's a rock that Mars has sandblasted into a crudely rendered lithic version of a vintage hood ornament. But it's probably too big to mount on Perseverance. Nearby is a much smaller oddity that drew a close-up look from the arm-mounted Watson camera. It's a rock shot through with holes that likely didn't arise from sandblasting. Instead, it looks like a piece of sandblasted vesicular basalt. This is common to lava flows on Earth, where voids from escaping gas bubbles remain after the lava solidifies. Further afield is a slab of rock with what looks like a layer of paint. Regular viewers of this channel will recognize this as yet another example of a coated rock, which is common in Jezero Crater. But this one is uncommon for the large area that's covered by the coating and its two-tone extra thick appearance. This adds to the mystery of what geologically recent processes and conditions led to coatings like this. But it's not a coating or a holy rock or hood ornament that has received an uncharacteristically long and detailed look by Perseverance. It's a seemingly unremarkable piece of the dust-covered slabby bedrock that surrounds the rover in this location. Blow away the dust, though, as Perseverance did with its gas dust removal tool, and the remarkableness appears, starting with its color. This may be the reddest rock Perseverance has yet observed, a likely indicator of oxidized iron, probably from the mineral hematite, which is a common pigmenting agent in sedimentary rocks on Earth. How minerals get oxidized on Mars with its vanishingly small amount of oxygen in the atmosphere is a whole other topic of scientific pursuit. After this image was taken, Watson turned on its LED lights at about 8 o'clock that same evening to get another look, including progressive zooming in, which is done by moving the arm toward the rock. The Sherlock and Pixel instruments were deployed after that to determine its composition. If your eye picked up on the weird sort of egg-shaped features, congratulate yourself for your attentiveness. That's what focused the team's attention and the entire toolkit of Perseverance. The SuperCam instrument on the top of the rover mast used its laser to blast nine holes across the biggest egg to determine its composition, viewing the before and after with its telescope. Apparently, the results were so interesting that on the next saw, Perseverance redeployed its arm for another round of nighttime Watson, Sherlock, and Pixel observations, all directly on the egg this time. Note that the white material is likely more of the sulfate minerals that are common to the rocks of Noretva Vallis, so nothing novel there. But this rock is so interesting to the team that even after all the completed work, it still wasn't enough. So it was time to bring in the drill and a braiding bit to do a grind. For some reason, this was done next to the egg, not on it. The resulting detritus buried the egg after it was blown out of the abrasion patch. The hole at the bottom may be from a rock that got plucked out during the abrading operation. There are lots of examples of pebbles stuck in the red rock that make this a possibility or else Perseverance exposed a tiny cave. Don't expect to see any creatures dwelling inside, though. But if we do see the sample coring bit deployed in the coming saws, that'll show that this rock really was worthy of being targeted. <laughs>